Hello everyone, my name is Dubdevil aka Q, and today we will be playing a, um, a free, uh, game. Uh, well, episode one is free. It's called The Lion's Song. Um, episode one is silence. Apparently, they're having three more episodes. It's gonna be a episodic game. Uh, from my, from what I read in the description, it is a point-and-click, um, based game where this artist or this musical artist is trying to find her like like inspiration to like her music and so she just travels um and so this is uh this is what we're going to be playing now so and you can buy the season pass i mean if the game's good i'll give it a try but, um that's basically it so hold on to your hats uh because this this about might get interesting so let's go Milk Train Station. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, pack. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard, all aboard for Vina. You will write your, mo your mother, won't you? Oh, wow. I see... No, I can't see the f the faces. Every day, Papa. I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard. Last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. He will get in trouble if he is late. Or if he's late. My dear boy. Take care. Take care. And we are off. So, hold on. Let me see. Recording. Recording's doing fine. Yes, Mama and Papa, you take care too. Take care. Wilma first left them on this very train, now me. So I'm guessing that Wilma is your sister. Vienna... Okay, I can't read that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh! Um... Vienna... No. Author's desk. His desk. How much music he... Has he written here? Oh, yeah. The view from this office is wonderful. Oh, Vienna. How I love being here. Corridor uh, yourself. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am. Waiting. Maybe at last he won't to he want to talk. Wait, maybe at least at last you want to talk. About us. Oh, she in love. But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it will happen. But it never will. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Why did you want to see me, Professor? Where have you been? I haven't been waiting long. Um, let's, let's ask why you want to see me. Why did you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest... Yes? Wilma? Your performance... Your performance at the saloon? It was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Oh, yes, they seem to enjoy the music. I'm so glad. Um... 
I I actually, if I was into this position, they seem to enjoy the music. Oh, yes. They seem to enjoy the music. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. Every time I hear Wilma, I just think of, like, the Flintstone, the Flintstones and Freddy screaming Wilma. That's, that's all I can hear. How is the new com- wait, composition coming along? It's more difficult than others. I'm progressing. I'm progressing. Your music is so new. It, it enti entices. It challenges. I think. No, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. The future of music. Arthur, I'm... We must build on the success of your performance. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I'm... that's... that is... What is it? I've started composing it, but... But? Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. I can't hear, I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention. Recognizing you on the street. And even more pressure from me. can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself. Moment, it's momentum. No, it's not you. No, it's not you, Arthur. You need to, you need a change. That's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. You will be able to work there. I uh, know you've done so much for me already. What could you do? Come would you come with me? Would you come with me? I... That would har That would hardly help your reputation. You need time alone. The quiet. Yes. Quiet. I'll take care of things here. Arthur... I can't. I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Hmm. Alright. I guess Wilma's going to the mountains. Pack lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You'll have to work you have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is for the best. You will be completely alone. No distractions. Somewhere in the Alps. Cabin. Forest. Almost there. Just a bit further. Just a few more steps. Is that all she's just gonna say? Dude, I'm sorry. In a point and click game, I just wanna click everything. Phew. I have finally arrived. That is Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. 
and inspiration is waiting for me down there. Well, let's head to the cabins, are we? That must be the cabin at last. Hopefully inspiration waits for me down there. No, we gotta keep going. Oh, path. This path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. Dark, dark clouds hang over the mountains. Almost as if they are waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. I'd better hurry. I gotta uh, go into the cabin. It looks like a storm is brewing. I might just make it before the rain. Let's get out of here. I like the art style too, the pixelated style of this game. The Lion Song, Episode 1, Silence. Hmm. I click? Yeah, I do click. So, this is, be, this is uh, becoming a good, cool to game. Cool little game. I made it, just before the rain. Hopefully it will stop soon. The walk up here was exhausting. Phew. Alright, Wilma, it's time to unpack your bag. Uh, let's see, my bag. I'm starving. There should be sandwich somewhere in here. Music paper. Ah, there it is. Oh, a letter. Who's it from? Pack late, lightly. Oh, it's an achievement, sorry. <laughs> it says, open upon arrival. My dear Wilma, I hope you had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you have started writing already. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings. Read on. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us? Before you departure, I started to organize. A concert at the Miss Curvian in Vienna. I was able to co convince a few illustrators, college, colleagues, to offer their work. Read on. I had a call to many favors, but... Mr... Okay, I can't read that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm butchering everything, but it's just like, I can't um, read them. Uh, and Mr. Berg and Mr. Mowler have all agreed to participate and share their works for this glorious evening. And your wait, composition will be the centerpiece. The grand finale. Oh, she's sad because they she's not <laughs> she's not like she really wants the her him to talk about her and him together. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt. And for that, I apologize. But now is your time. The musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. A concert? One week? How is this less pressure? Arthur? How could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped here. With a storm outside, and within me, silence. Oh shit. Okay, okay, I see. Oh my gosh. So I can. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, who, who's there? Hello? 
Jetam Nekado. Excuse me? Oh, German. Yes? Um, who is this? With whom do you wish to speak? Are you sure you have the right number? Um, who is this? I, um, well, my name is Leos. Are you still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? T uh, um... Uh... Yo, I can just straight up lie. <laughs> like, I can straight up lie. Like, dude, he, he asked me, like, where am I? I'm not telling you. I'm in the middle of a forest. I'm not telling you where I am, bro. Where are you calling from? I'd rather not say. I want to keep this to myself. In a different country? Or maybe even on a different continent? <laughs> In a cloud. In a cloud! <laughs> Yes, sir, I'm in a cloud. <laughs> in the cloud, perhaps. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I never would have dream dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over long distance. But to actually hear a voice, it's amazing. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. Stomach rumble. Ah, god damn it, I'm hungry. What was that? Oh, um... There's a storm. <laughs> it's nothing. Thunder, This there's a storm here. That sounded a bit closer. Uh... How embarrassing. I hear this noise every day. When my guests come to with an empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Louis? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot. With a rich, hearty sauce. Stomach rumbling. God damn it, please stop making me hungry! <laughs> and when you cut it, cut into it, and the steam comes out. Uh... That sounds delicious. They are delicious. You have to come by someday, so I can cook some for you. I wish I had some here, some here right now. Of course you wish that. Oh ho ho ho. I apologize. It sounded, it sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madam. Uh... Huh. I am very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask you your name. Well, since you asked me my name, since you told me your name, I might as well tell you my name. It's Wilma. Wilma? Too polite. Wait. Wait, what? I unlocked achievement called Too Polite. It, wait, is something bad gonna happen? Wilma. It was a pleasure s to speak with you. Say, do you think we can talk again t sometime soon? They gave me a number, 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Alright, well, um, go uh, goodbye, Louis. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. <clears throat> Time for my sandwich. Munch. It tastes delicious. I am so tired. It was just too much for my first day. Then she passes out. <laughs> and I'm a goner. Oh, uh, man.
Outside, behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Besides Wilma, someone stares. Wait, what? Duvet. Uh, do wait. That's me. And that's our. Oh, I'm having a dream. These can't be mine. I could never afford them. How much did we drink? I don't feel drunk. Close. Is this my dress? What have we done? Well, apparently, y'all got down with each other, and, you know, y'all decided to go ham. You know, in the, in the, uh, in the most, you know, forward way I can say it, have sex. Probably. I don't know. They could have just fell asleep drunk. Who knows? I don't even, is it, they could, I mean, they could have had sex. What the? Hmm? Hmm? Wilma. Hey, you are you awake? I am now. Oh. It's late. How did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Stay a little longer... with me. I really have to go. I'm expected at the Institute. We've been together for such a short time, I'm sleepy. We've been together for such a short time. Ha ha ha. We've been together all night, and we didn't get much sleep. <laughs> Did I learn my lesson well? Yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first- Oh! Oh. Isn't that... How old are they, actually? I should be wondering this. And plus, is that a... Is that... Is that... This, is that how you get fired? From, like... You're in, like, a college or something? Like, if a teacher goes out with a student, isn't that, like, you can't do that or something? Alright, well. Is that what we are? I mean... Together? Student and teacher? Secret lo- uh, let's go. Secret lovers? Distant church bells chime the hour. You know, I heard about this. When you hear wedding bells, you found your love. Well, apparently that's like a freaking story. Like a, uh, a folk tale or some sort. And some signs say, people, when you have your first kiss, you, uh, feel, um, firecrackers or something. Or you hear firecrackers going off. Six o'clock. I am already late. Oh, jeez. Uh, what could be so urgent? Who are you meeting? Um, do we want to sound needy? I mean, like... What can be so urgent? I mean, he does have it. Okay, what's in, what could be so urgent? Today I'm getting strong, strong birds. Okay, strong birds. I'm just going to say that. Contribution. I have to be there. Okay. Oh, it will be marvelous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. Ah, oh, she she doesn't want to hear that. And wait, is he gripping my arm? What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop, you're hurting me. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So it was a dream that turned into a nightmare, you know? This is like... The future of music. No. Ow. Arthur. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. She's having a stressful time. Like, I mean, 